Hello, everyone. Hi, in 2021, and I would love to say in the post-COVID year. However, we all know it's impossible to predict what will come. Many of our patients are concerned with hair loss, which they believe may be associated with COVID-19. And indeed, there are many descriptions of patients who recovered from COVID-19 and then they developed hair loss. And as in this study by Mirchnikovska and co-workers, uh, who has shown that many patients had never a prior history of hair loss and they started developing hair loss after COVID-19. And in this study, it was shown that the exact nature of hair loss could not be evaluated because these were teledermatology visits. But today I would like to answer several questions which are associated with this topic. First, does hair loss happen to every patient who recovers from COVID-19. Second, is it possible to prevent hair loss once you have COVID-19? And the third question, what is the prognosis of hair loss in patients who develop the problem after COVID-19? Let's go. This is one of the first cases of telogen effluvium, which is associated with COVID-19, one of the first described cases. A woman who had COVID-19, she had high fever of 39 degrees Celsius for over two weeks. And then after recovering from COVID-19, she developed quite severe hair loss. Here's another description of uh, three patients with hair loss associated with COVID-19. Here, even trichoscopy was performed and trichoscopy showed the typical for telogen effluvium abundance of follicle units with only one hair. Also, in these patients, the typical feature, the clinical feature of COVID-19 was the high fever and the hair loss developed after the patients recovered from COVID-19, 39 to 75 days after the peak fever in the course of COVID-19. So what is the cause of hair loss after recovering from COVID-19? Well, we do not know. There is no single factor which can be associated with hair loss. Yes, fever may be one of these factors, but not every patient who develops hair loss after COVID-19 had high fever in the course of the disease. So fever may not be the only contributing factor. It has been shown that in patients who have high fever, they are more likely to develop a severe form of telogen effluvium. However, there are many other factors, including drugs, which may contribute to telogen effluvium, especially the antitrobotic drugs, which are known inducers of hair loss. I would like to share with you some details from this nice study about COVID-19 related hair loss. And I think that the most interesting number is 24. 24% 24 of patients who have COVID-19 will subsequently develop hair loss. So this is not definitely not the majority of patients. And the hair loss develops on average 58 days after the first symptoms of COVID-19. So this is less than two months, significantly less compared to the usual telogen effluvium, which in most cases develops three or even four months after the inducing factors. 58 days, this is an average. There are already some patients, as you see on this graph, who develop hair loss even few days after the first symptoms of COVID-19. And what is also interesting, after 200 days, there are almost no patients with features of hair loss. And the average duration of hair loss, which is associated with COVID-19, is approximately 76 days, so two to three months. This is a case of uh, hair loss and recovery, which was described by Hal Trub. We see the patient before she developed COVID-19, four months after COVID-19 with significant decrease in hair density, and then again, seven months after COVID-19 with almost full recovery. Few uh, details from the study. First, 
the onset and the intensity of hair loss is associated with the severity of COVID-19. Second, that it is likely that the patients will recover from hair loss approximately three to six months after the onset of telogen effluvium. And third, and I think this is most interesting and I will develop a special video on this topic because this is quite controversial, but this study indicates that there is no association between the pre-existing hair condition and the severity of COVID-19. So we know now that we are likely to recover from hair loss, which is associated with COVID-19, but can we prevent it? once we have the disease? Well, I'm sorry to say, but uh, the answer is most probably no. And why? This is because there are so many factors which may contribute to the development of hair loss, such as fever, which I mentioned before, but also the decreased oxygen supply to the hair follicle may be of major importance. Also, the treatment, especially the antitrobotic drugs, which are a major element of the treatment of COVID-19, some other drugs, but also the stress of having the disease may be a contributing factor. So basically, other than treating COVID-19 as soon as possible, we have no other measures to prevent hair loss. I mentioned that stress may be inducing telogen effluvium. This study shows that quarantine by itself even without COVID-19 may be a source of stress. And this is a study from Italy. Italy was the first country in Europe who had a lockdown of two months early in 2020. And the authors of this article has shown that quarantine was causing significant emotional stress, anxiety, irritability, increased anger, and that this factor may have contributed to the stress-induced telogen effluvium, which was associated with the quarantine. But also the authors of this article point to the fact that the quarantine may have caused that the patients had more time to pay attention to their hair. So they may be a little bit of an overdiagnosis of hair loss just because of this phenomenon. Few key points from my presentation. First, Approximately one fourth of the patients who have COVID-19 will subsequently develop hair loss and most probably in most cases, this will be telogen effluvium. There's also one more clinical symptom which is associated with hair and scalp and COVID-19, but I'm not allowed to tell you more at this point because it is not published yet. But my friend Michela Starato is coordinating a big study on this, and as soon as it is published, I will be happy to make a separate video on this unique clinical symptom. Second, usually the onset of hair loss is approximately two months or even less after the onset of first symptoms of COVID-19, so shorter compared to the usual development of telogen effluvium. Third, there is no known method of prevention. In my private opinion, the earlier you start treating COVID-19, the earlier it is possible to decrease the fever, the less likely the person is to develop severe alopecia after COVID-19. And finally, and I think most optimistic, is that this disease, the hair loss, is most probably self-limiting. And in most cases, we can expect a hair regrowth despite no treatment. However, if a patient prefers to consult a dermatologist to get some hair growth intensifying agents, I think this will be also a good solution. So, if you like my video, please consider subscribing to this channel and I invite you to see more videos about hair diseases and other dermatological disorders. Thanks a lot for listening.